report tonight looks at how changes to the NYPD's controversial stop, question, and frisk practices are affecting the police and the community. CBS 2's Sonia Rincon has the new information. The report suggests police on city streets are more hesitant to stop and frisk and hesitating to document what they do, in part because they're not sure about the new guidelines, in part because they're not sure what consequences they might face for a mistake. We do not know the extent to which officers may be declining to make lawful appropriate stops because of these uncertainties, writes Federal Monitor Peter Zimroth. To the extent that it's happening, though, it's not a healthy state of affairs for police officers or communities. The head of one of the largest police unions says yes, that hesitation is real. Detectives Endowment Association President Michael Palladino says some of that can be corrected with training. But they also need additional confidence, too. They need confidence to come from management. They need confidence to come from politicians because it's very difficult to put your life in harm's way every day uh, and be worried about if what you do in good faith is going to end up uh, getting you in trouble. Vince Warren heads the Center for Constitutional Rights, which had a lead role in the federal lawsuit that brought reforms. When you stop someone, you need to give a, a clear legal reason for stopping them. You need to write that down and record it in a fashion that can be kept and monitored. City Councilman Jumani Williams pushed for stop and frisk reform under the Bloomberg administration. He says he's hearing more general concerns about police community relations now. The stop question and frisk issue I think is still there. I've been hearing it a little bit less. The misapplication of broken windows is kind of what's uh, taking its place now. But the real problem is about how we police different neighborhoods. Commissioner Bratton wasn't available for comment, but an NYPD spokesperson Person says it's extremely important that all stops be properly documented, and there's an auditing process in place in the precincts to identify any underreporting. The department also says all new NYPD recruits are now learning how to properly document those stops in their training at the police academy. At police headquarters, Sonia Rincon, CBS 2 News.